Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have a, another Charlotte Tilbury review for you guys. She seems to be pushing out products lately and you guys know Charlotte Tilbury is one of my absolute favorite brands. So I've been on that train picking everything up just about. This was a surprise release, nobody saw it coming, but today I'm going to be reviewing the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I don't normally review setting sprays on my channel because quite frankly, I feel like they don't really do anything, but let's see if this guy is magic and it does what it is supposed to do. So at the current moment, as of today that I'm filming this, this is no longer available. I got an email about early access, so I did pick this up. It will be available within the next couple of days, I'm sure. Usually early access is only like a day or two in advance. She released the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray 25 ml bottle for $20. So this is technically the travel size. It's not the full size. As far as I'm aware, I did read somewhere that the full size bottle is like 100 milliliters and it'll be priced around the $50 mark. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. But all I know is I have the mini size, which I'm very happy she actually came out with a travel size first because I would not have spent $50 on a setting spray. So I'm so happy that not only did I get early access, but she released the small travel size. So let's go over the claims, what this is supposed to do. I'm very skeptical about setting sprays, so we will see. But this is described as a handbag size, oil-free, lightweight, hydrating setting spray to prime and set your makeup for up to 16 hours. Wow, I should have read that before because I certainly did not prime with this. But that's okay, I just don't do that ever. That's really out of my routine. Setting spray is for after. So essentially, this is supposed to weightlessly prime and set your makeup for 16 hours. It's supposed to feel lightweight, it's supposed to be blurring to your skin, set your makeup, and improved makeup longevity. I do have to say, 35 milliliters, $20. I mean, this is a pricier product. It's in a plastic bottle, but it still looks quite fancy. I'm not gonna lie. Even though it is plastic, I would prefer that because if I drop this, I'm donezo with this. So it's a plastic bottle. Just really simple and cute, honestly. I really like it. I think it looks nice. Um, something that I did see online was a lot of people complaining about the ingredients. So what I did notice, the very first ingredient is water. And I saw a lot of people complaining about that because they were like, Am I paying $20 for water? And so I actually looked at the ingredients of most of the other setting sprays that I had, and honestly, that's not out of the norm. Most, if not all of the setting sprays already in my collection, like their first ingredient was water. Also something to note, the very last ingredient down here is alcohol. I know that's a big turnoff to people. For me, I don't know, alcohol is supposed to make your makeup last longer, right? And if it's the last ingredient, I'm personally unbothered by that, but just something to keep in mind. It's made in Germany and has a 12 month shelf life. I'm not a big ingredient nerd. I don't really understand ingredients, so I don't really have anything to comment, but from what I have seen online, it looks like people are saying that the ingredients aren't anything special, aren't worth justifying the price. I don't know. I'm just going to use the product and tell you whether or not I think it works. The ingredients that they do highlight on the website are flawless film formers, which act as an invisible shield to help flawlessly set makeup, aloe vera, which is vitamins and minerals to leave your skin feeling smooth and supple. We have Japanese green tea to help create softer, hydrated feeling skin and aromatic resin from the bark of a tree grown on the Greek island of Chios which helps to keep pores clear. All right, well, we are going to test that now. I'm gonna judge the heck out of how this sprays and how my skin looks. So my makeup is all done. I wore a foundation that I'm very familiar with. So I'm gonna let you know what I think. So I'm gonna grab a random palette. This is an Odin's Eye eyeshadow palette, by the way, and it's so cute. Decent mist. It has like a very faint floral scent if you're not into scents. I kind of like it. It's kind of calming smelling and the mist seems okay. All right, so I'm just going to do what side? Let's do this side. I just put a ton on, but whatever. That's how I do. Mm, I really like the smell of this. It's not super strong that it's off-putting. I like it, but again, if you're anti-scent, Stay away from this. I'm gonna give this a second to dry 
And then I'm gonna get up close and personal with you guys. Hello, here we are up close and personal. I gave the setting spray a couple minutes to dry. My face is still a little bit damp, but I do want to kind of compare the sides. So definitely, like most setting sprays, it did kind of make my makeup look more skin-like, a little bit less dry, definitely is what I'm noticing. I mean, it did what basically every setting spray can do. And also looking at this, like I'm not gonna lie guys, I can kind of see what she means by a little bit blurring. I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't think I've ever looked at a setting spray so close to see what it does. So I don't know if this is out of the norm, but my skin looks more hydrated. It looks a little bit smoother and I mean just a little bit smoother. It's not game changing, but since I'm staring, I'm noticing it. I do also notice my skin feels a little bit tighter. Actually, not really. No, my skin looks better, it looks healthier, it looks softer, it looks smoother. I don't know, it's a setting spray, you guys. And it's doing what it's supposed to do. So, I'm really smart and decided to film this at 6 p.m. So I'm gonna give you guys a late night update. From what I can notice so far, I really enjoyed the experience of this a lot, which a lot of times is what I use setting sprays for. It did the job of kind of pushing my makeup in, making it look a little bit more skin-like. It did add a very, very, very subtle glow, a little bit of radiance to my skin. And I feel like I understand these uh, blurring properties that they're talking about. That being being said, $20 for this little amount. I mean, I don't know if the changes <laughs> are worth it, but I do notice a little sum sum. So I'll be back in a few hours and I'm going to update you about how this wore. But overall, I mean, I don't have anything bad to say about this. It smells nice. It looks nice. It sprays nice. It's very pretty. I don't think you need it, but I like it. So... I'll just be back and we'll see if there's any difference of wear time on my face. I don't know. I'm skeptical. You guys know this. Hey, so it's like kind of late because I decided to film so late. So I've had my makeup on for, I want to say, like five hours, which obviously is not that long. But I figured it's not a foundation wear test, so for five. Or that's what I'm telling myself. Anyways, so let's take a look. I honestly haven't even really looked at my makeup today. You know what? Honestly, guys, I'm not a real believer in setting spray actually making your makeup last longer or anything and making that much of a difference. But I can't even lie, this side with the setting spray, it's looking a wee bit better. And by a wee bit, I really mean just a hair, but I don't know if you can see, but my smile lines are digging in way less as opposed to this side. I don't know if it's going like that more. And this side is a tad more shiny than this side like this side ha doesn't have the oils peeking through quite as much i'm gonna have to do a longer wear test with this i mean other than that the differences are very very slight but i am noticing a difference and that i mean that's saying something right also side note the lip color that i'm wearing oh it's amazing uh, i'm wearing the maybelline superstay matte ink in caramel collector I totally broke my low buy for this. I ordered the ColourPop foundation and I wanted free shipping, so I picked up some of these. So, <laughs> you heard it here first, I broke my low buy for this, but it's from their coffee collection. How could I not? Which, honestly, it smells more like maple syrup as opposed to coffee. I kind of dig it, though. Um, I don't love this color, but I've never tried this formula for Maybelline, and, I mean, it's been five hours. It's very lightweight feeling. I layered on a lot, and it didn't build up. It feels like nothing on my lips, you guys. It's not really drying feeling. I mean, it does show the lines on your lips, but nothing crazy. And I ate dinner, and it still looks quite impeccable. I don't know if people have talked about this product, but <laughs> it's good. Okay, anyways, back to the setting spray. I mean, you can take a look for yourself. Obviously, the differences are pretty much not perceptible through a camera, but if I'm holding a mirror like two inches from my face and getting really picky with it, like this side does look better. It has worn a little bit better. Hold up one second. Sorry guys, I'm ready. I'm ready to hit the hay. But uh, in conclusion, it's, it's a good setting spray. I have to say, every single claim that it had, it actually kind of did what it said, which I am impressed by. However, that being said, even though it did do it, like, 
difference. It didn't make that much of a difference. You know, it was a little bit more visible because I was looking for it. I don't think if I had read the claims, I would have realized anything was different. I think $20 for this little guy is a little bit steep for a setting spray. At the end of the day, I feel like for the most part, setting sprays over $20 are just kind of ridiculous, especially if you get something like this. I love setting sprays. I love how they smell. I love the whole experience of the setting spray. But at the end of the day, I feel like the effect on the makeup really isn't worth it. And this guy is expensive and it did make a little bit of a difference on my makeup. I don't know if it's $20 to $50 worth, but the experience of using this was very, very nice. And I always talk about that luxury experience in products of applying it and all of that stuff. Like, that's also what you pay for. I can imagine the full-size bottle might be a little bit nicer than this plastic travel size. But I really enjoy the smell of this a lot. It did linger on my skin, I want to say, for about 10 minutes. I could smell it. And honestly, it was pleasant. It could have been on my skin all day, and I would not have mind. But fragrance-free people steer clear. I mean, it's not super strong, but the scent did linger. The fragrance is there, but I think it smells quite fresh. So I liked it. That, to me, kind of amped up the experience of this for me. So overall, I like it. I don't have any problems with it. If you're tight on money, do I think it's worth it? Probably not. I think it'll work fine with some Mario Badescu, but um, I do like it. And the only thing that I don't like, though, is I feel like I can't go ham with my spray. Like, I, I normally just like to basically dunk my whole face in water because this is so expensive I don't want to do more than like four sprays on my face because I feel like I'm just spraying my money away so that's the only thing just the price but it's Charlotte Tilbury so other than that I think it did a good job and I think it's a nice setting spray so let me know your thoughts down below have you tried it are you planning on trying it does my skin look different? Do you think it's worth it? That is all I have for today's video. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I really would appreciate it if you would take the time to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.